The Sports Development Foundation, SDF, is now interested in doing research into lives of Olympians and how they fare after returning home to public pressure and scrutiny. This is to help SDF implement policies so that resources or resources can be allocated to various associations to address those needs, especially mental health. Denise Waters has this TVJ Sports follow-up. In recent times, among the needs of athletes being mentioned is taking care of the mental health. And a sports psychologist, Dr. Olivia Rose, says it's important to assess and address those needs and not to confuse it with mental illness. Mental health is just as important as staying physically healthy. It doesn't mean that you're sick, but you put things in place to ensure that your health on a mental grid um, remains um, above par and you're not falling into the illness zone so for example if it means that you need to take a break because you taking a break is good for your mental health but taking that break at a at a time that allows for you to do so she is imploring athletes to seek the help they need before it reaches to a point where it has escalated and it has now fallen into the the critical condition and unfortunately you don't want that to happen during a competition which is why it's important for you now to ensure that you're mentally healthy and keeping and doing the things to remain mentally healthy and this is where working with a trained practitioner in the field is necessary. General Manager of the SDF, Denzel Wilkes, says it's important to note that the National Health Scheme set up for athletes through the Ministry of Sport covers mental health. And medical care includes the psychological and the mental. And so, yes, that is in place. And more and more, we, in our meetings with the national associations, because almost everything we do is in collaboration with the national associations, so more and more in our meetings with them, we are encouraging them to look at how they can treat with this aspect of the development of the athletes. Wills Defense put in the grant together for the research. First of all, one wants this kind of research, which will tell us, the administrators and the wider public, that listen, we need to show an appreciation for these things so that we can get the entire package right. Then what? From a policy perspective, one of the things that we need to do is to pay more attention to the psychological side, to have more psychologists involved in the preparations. And we're not talking about track and field alone. We're talking about all the various sporting activities. We talk about hockey, for example. You talk about volleyball. All of these people need to know because when the competition is on, it becomes extremely difficult. Many athletes are traumatized by competition. Both Wilkes and Dr. Rose says athletes have been selected to participate in the research and they're imploring those athletes to come forward and share their stories. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.